gentlemen, welcome to our concert. We're so honored and pleased that you would share part of your Saturday with us. You know, um, our special guest tonight is indeed, it's an honor for us to have her with us. Eru Matsumoto has been thrilling audiences since she was a little girl, a child prodigy featured in documentaries and interviews and TV specials ever since she was very young, beginning her time at the Juilliard School at, at the age of 16. Today, she travels the world as a renowned cellist, performing with major symphonies across the planet. Let's welcome Eru Matsumoto. asked to come speak to you today and was told the subject I would be speaking on, I think I said yes, faster than I've ever agreed to do anything in my life. And that is because this one thing has occupied most of my young adult life, probably going back to when I was a child of six and first picked up the cello. Hello, Eru. Hi, thank you so much for having Welcome me. Welcome to Bitface TV. Thank you, very happy to be here. All right. Well, the we can hear you, but I can see the talent of Eru. Well, I introduced about you with thank the two you. cellos. Yes. So, uh, first of all, please tell me a little bit about yourself. Yes, of course. Um, so, I'm obviously a cellist. I've been playing the cello for about 20, 20 years now. Wow. Mm -hmm. I started when I was six years old, and um, I. My background is classical music. I went to Juilliard School mm -hmm. in New York, and but after I graduated, I've been doing diverse things. I, I've been doing a lot of talks, and uh, I've been collaborating with um, pop singers like Adele, mm -hmm. Skrillex, Demi Lovato, and so I, I've been doing a lot of things, and that's why I play the electric cello also. <laughs> All right, um, that's really um, amazing. When I, I saw, I watched your performance yes. with the two parts put together. <laughs> thank you. So definitely, I will introduce to my audience today. Thank you. Thank you for coming to the concert too. It was so nice to see you there. <laughs> it was very beautiful concert. Thank you I, so I love much. the music. Yes. <laughs> so Eru, um, you're mm -hmm. talking about the Julia um, School. Is that yes. a very well-known school in New York? Yes. Um, it's actually considered the. the best school for classical music, and it's in New York City. So um, I actually grew up in New, new Jersey, mm -hmm. so it was, it, New York is sort of my home for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, và chúng ta được biết là Eru thì được đề nghị để mà lãnh giải Grammy. So tell me about 59th Grammy yeah. Award um, nomination. <laughs> That's right. Um, so I had the privilege to perform with um, Demi Lovato on her album. And it was actually her first album that she got nominated. She's a very well-known singer. She um, sang the Let It Go from Frozen. Mm -hmm. um, so I played some solos on it. So I was very lucky to um, have the nomination on okay. that. Okay, all right. Um, you know, Fox News. Yes. I love it. <laughs> and I saw your performance yeah. in LA Good Days. Good oh, Day thank LA. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so tell me about that. Yeah, so that was like a couple months ago. Um, it was it was very, very nice to be able to play um, on the morning show live. Mm -hmm. It was very nerve-wracking because it was live show. So I had a little interview and I got to play. Actually, I'm going to perform the same exact piece today. So, All right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So you uh, play in uh, Japan Philharmonic, yes. and then uh, Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, where else? Um, Royal Philharmonic. Oh, okay. Yes. So Royal. The in, in London. In London, yes. Um, wow. So with the Tokyo Philharmonic, um, it was actually one of the, my most favorite concerts that I did because I got to premiere John Williams' music. John mm -hmm. Williams, as you know, is the composer for yes. Jaws and all the Sp Steven Spielberg movies. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, it was such an honor to be able to do an Asian premiere with the Tokyo Philharmonic. So that was also a few months ago. Tell me about TED Talk. TED Talk, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was never a speaker. I was very, I was so shy as um, while I was growing up, and I never thought I would do speeches. <laughs> uh -huh. But um, after I graduated, I decided that I know a lot of things. Um, I, I'm an expert for music, so I, I thought I should maybe try to um, seek for opportunities where I can 
um, make speeches. And first thing I thought of was TED Talk, and <laughs> you know mm -hmm. that it's actually one of the most um, well-known speeches right now. So yeah. um, I don't know how I could have been so brave to think that way, <laughs> but <laughs> I applied, and um, fortunately I got accepted. So I well, that, talk. that's congratulations because thank you. A lot of people want to get into TED Talk, yes. but they can't. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, what did you talk uh, in so, that? Yeah, yeah. So the theme was millennials challenge. Oh. Yes. So. Um, uh, my my theme um, I chose to about silence okay. because I think it's important for the younger generation to know silence. We're always surrounded by noises and you know cell phone and all the technologies um, around us right now. So um, that was my topic for the challenges for millennials and through music. Um, actually, the first thing that my teacher told me at Juilliard was about silence. After I played, he stopped me and he was like. Yeah, like forget about music, but the silence is more important important than the music. So I was very confused, but since then, I, that has been my mo motto for, for my life, actually. So that was my topic for the TED Talk. So the theme is silence. For me, yes. And, mm -hmm. and through the silence, you mm -hmm. found the music. Yes, yes. Sort of. <laughs> yes. Since I okay. was little, I always loved um, the idea of something that you cannot see with your eyes. I see. Like imagination or love for people, you know, mm -hmm. not just romantic, but anyone. For you, for friends, family, and all the things that you cannot see but and also cannot prove, but it's, it's real and it's, it's very strong. So I always thought the things that you cannot see is more important than the things that you can see. So silence was one of them. The, the sound of the cello, of course you cannot see that also, but you can hear it. But the silence is actually more important sometimes in life too. You know, when I hear cello, mm -hmm. I feel like I, 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 I go deep down of the soul. Oh. <laughs> is that true? It, it, that, I, I think so. <laughs> I believe right. so. Actually, yeah. people say that the, the sound of the cello is the closest to human voice. So yes. maybe that's why you feel that way. Mm -hmm. But I, I also, when I play my music, um, I enjoy it myself too. I love <laughs> listening to cello sounds. So. Yeah, but you know, that's why it, it reflects to your expression. Oh, thank because you. Because I love your expression thank when you, you so play much. the cello. Thank you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> chúng tôi nói về TED Talk. Đây là một show um, rất là đặc biệt và rất, rất là khó mà uh, vào được cái show này. Những cái người mà nói chuyện trong show này, những người host hay là speaker thì phải được uh, lựa chọn rất kỹ và um, Eru um, đã apply và được uh, nhận vào cái chương trình này để mà nói về một cái đề tài uh, với cái chủ đề là silence tức là uh, sự yên lặng uh, nhưng mà um, Bích vừa nghĩ rằng uh, qua cái sự yên tĩnh uh, lắng động đó thì uh, sẽ lắng nghe được âm nhạc và um, trong cái buổi mà TED Talk thì Eru uh, đã thực hiện được cái phim cái đề tài đó để cho uh, những người lắng nghe và rất thành công. What's the difference electric cello and acoustic cello? <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I, Tell I me about personally it. love the acoustic cello just because I can actually control um, different depths of the sound or okay. you know timbre and all different colors of the sound. But with electric cello, I have to use um, different um, pedals okay. to create different sounds. So and I'm very 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 bad with technology. So. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I have to plug into something that I don't really know, like amp amplifier, I, I freak out. That's <laughs> but okay. yes, but for acoustic cello, I, I, I really love it. Of course, I, I do enjoy. I stand up and play the electric cello, so that's really fun. I, I feel like a rock star playing. <laughs> Oh yeah, yes. yeah. Um, có lẽ là chúng tôi uh, xin mời quý vị theo dõi uh, một trích đoạn ở sau đây thì Eru sẽ uh, chơi cello um, phần đầu đó thì acoustic 
rồi ký đến thì Eru sẽ chơi Electric Solo để quý vị thấy được à, cái phí liền cũng như là cái cách à, trình diễn của Eru à, và xuyên qua bài nhạc đó thì quý vị thấy tài nghệ của Eru um, Well, I gonna invite you to mm-hmm. play a song Okay um, First, good acoustic, right? Yes And then next one, we're leading to Electric To Electric, Can yes. you introduce me what song is that? Yes, so I will start off with Amazing Grace Okay um, I actually made that for American Roots album that I was working on and um, and then I will play on the electric cello a Vivaldi the four season from summer okay. but it's my arrangement so it's more like a rock and roll Vivaldi <laughs> all right yes all right so xin mời quý vị thưởng thức sau đây Vừa rồi quý vị vừa thưởng thức phần trình diễn của Aero Matsumoto um, Phần đầu thì là phần acoustic, phần kế là electric Quý vị thấy cái sự khác biệt không ạ? Well, I see the difference between acoustic and mm-hmm. electric uh-huh. yes. And um, tell me more about that, tell me more about the acoustic Okay, sure, so the, I, I'm very lucky to be sponsored by Violin Assets in Germany uh-huh. So I have a lifetime loan of this beautiful cello It was made in 1835, so it's almost 200 years old <laughs> 200 năm tuổi <laughs> 200 years old Yes, that's right <laughs> <laughs> cái đàn trước mặt quý vị là 200 năm rồi nhưng mà well I see um, it, it looks really good yes. you know it, it looks ancient uh, but uh, mm-hmm. but it's still modern yes and mm-hmm. the sound really good too thank you yeah. yes and you know how much it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> very close to million dollars <laughs> million dollars <laughs> yeah. <cái chữ> đồng luôn. <laughs> that's okay well, uh, thank you so much for watching and um, please follow me on Instagram it's Eru Cello Girl E R U C E L L O girl G I R R L and find me on Facebook or um, and I also have all the links on YouTube so 
hope to um, see you more there. Thank you. <laughs> Any CD or anything? Yes, release? I have a CD. Um, I have it on my website. It's erumatsumoto.com. E-R-U-M-A-T-S-U-M-O-T-O.com. Uh, thank, thank you, you for so coming much. and thank good you. luck to you. Thank you. And I hope to see you again. Yes. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.